Hey guys, my name is Dylan. I'm with Precision Welding Supply. Today we're gonna go over the Model 217 and how to modify a procedure. To modify an existing procedure, starting in the weld screen, in the bottom right corner, you'll see a power adjustment button. These will allow you to make a percentage change to the current and can be the easiest and fastest way to modify an existing procedure that is either too hot or too cold. In order to make fine adjustments to the procedure, we'll need to enter the schedule screen button on the top left hand corner. There we'll enter page one. On page one, we are given the option to adjust material and electro data. In the material section, we have the option to adjust the tube diameter, wall, and material identification. In the electro data section, we find AMI's auto-generated recommendations for the parameters that we put into place when creating the procedure. This data can be changed depending on personal preference. Adjusting the electro data does not make any changes to the procedure, but is only for user information purposes. There, we can also set up an alert in the change after section to let us know when to change the tungsten after so many uses or so many welds. Let's now switch to page two. There we have levels and purge adjustment sections. Again, we are given AMI's generated recommendations. Under levels, we can adjust the weld type, change the number of levels, and the starting current amperage. Under purge, we can adjust how long the machine runs the arcing gas inside the weld head before striking the weld and after the weld has been completed. This is identified as the pre-weld purge or the post-weld purge. Then we have the motor section. In the motor section, we can change how long the electrode will stay in the start position after the arc has been struck. This can be used as essentially a preheat for the tubing, helping with penetration, of the weld. This is identified as the start delay. We also have the option to change the direction that the weld can travel in. Let's now move on to page three. In page three, we can make fine adjustments to each individual level that has been created, adjusting the current and how fast the rotor is moving. After hitting the save button on the left hand side, we can go back to the weld screen. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped explain a little bit more on how to modify your procedures on an AMI 217 power supply. If you have any questions, please give us a call or shoot us an email.